while we take from my women while we rape our women. I never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the line. Ain't nobody's hero, but I want to be heard. On your hot 97 every day, that's my word. I grew up in Chicago. And I can remember um, here in Africa, Bambada, Run DMC, and like a lot of the sort of East Coast hip hop really spoke to me at that time as a as a musician. the Sugar Hill Gang. Like, I had a friend in the sixth grade named Lisa who taught me um, the Rapper's Delight rap because I could not, I was like, what, is it a hip hop ahibity? What is ahibity? I couldn't figure out like what the words were and she actually wrote them down for me so I was able to say them. I knew all the records that everyone knew. I was always skirting around them and trying to figure out how to make melodies over the talking. Far side. So then she goes again, the dopest Ethiopia. And now the world around me seems to be moving in slow motion whenever she happens to walk by. Why does the apple of my eye overlooking? At that point, I get tired and. Why does the apple of my eye overlooking this? We got my feelings, no matter how much I try. Wait, no, I did not really pursue my little princess with persistence. And I was so low key that she was unaware of my existence from a distance. I desired her, secretly admired her, wired her, a letter. I was obsessed uh, with Tribe for a while. I was really obsessed with a lot of the sort of East Coast hip hop that featured jazz music that I knew and understood. A lot of those Herbie records, I could hear Herbie on those records, and so that became a thing. And then it became like Snoop and Dre and you know Kendrick. And Hey, this is Layla Hathaway. Happy 50th birthday, hip hop.